What's up everybody? Thanks for watching. Today is September 28th. It is opening day here in Texas. I've got my recurve with me this afternoon. Going into a good spot. I've got a feeder set up. Uh, I've got a perfect wind this afternoon. Uh, I had good buck movement in this area, so hopefully uh, we'll get a shot at one. So stay tuned. Uh, my pastor's got his camera, so hopefully one of us will get a shot on film. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Right now, but that eight point I just shot when I shot, he ducked and then he re rolled. You could tell he went away from me, so I hit him further back than I would like. But it also came out high above his back strap. I don't think it's gonna be a lethal hit, but I'm gonna obviously get down and look for blood. But I mean, it was really high dropped a lot and wheeled and with that angle it looked like it was just back strap but I'm gonna look um, he wheeled out I'm gonna give him some time my only hope is is maybe I hit that artery in the top but we'll see well I haven't found a drop of blood his tracks for a while I'm gonna keep looking for a while but I'm thinking I'm probably gonna end up having to watch trail camera pictures because I think this buck's still alive All right, guys, obviously I just made it home. Unfortunately, I did not find that deer. Um, several takeaways that I have from this experience, I'm gonna use it as a learning experience to help me. Hopefully it'll also help you. 
Uh, obviously, as you could see, that deer was uh, kind of very jumpy. So uh, the deer here are a little bit smaller than I'm used to. Also, they're very fast. And uh, as you could see, that deer ducked and he also turned and to wheel to run away. Uh, so obviously it looks like all I got was backstrap. I went out there and looked, I walked and walked and walked all the trails out, looked for blood, couldn't find any blood. So uh, I'm fairly certain that that deer is gonna survive. So I'll just keep looking on trail camera pictures and uh, keep you all updated. So uh, from now on, you know, I was, I think I didn't really pick a good spot. I was obviously, you know, looking focused on the lungs. I'm an instinctive shooter. Uh, but from now on, I've got to really make sure that I focus on hitting that lower third. So either shooting right at that heart or right at that, you know, belly line. Because I think these deer are just going to duck right into it. Uh, but anyway, that's what I take away from this. So uh, hopefully if you've never traditional hunted, you know, this won't turn you away from it. I mean, this unfortunately is a part of bow hunting. Um, you know, I've hit them high with a compound and lost them as well. So. Uh, obviously, you know, just practicing and trying your best. That's all you can do and uh, getting out there and getting after it. So I appreciate y'all watching. If you hadn't already done so, please like and subscribe. I've got a lot of other hunts. You know, I've got some traditional hunts. You know, I've killed one with a longbow. I've got a hunt on there. I've killed one with a recurve. I've got it on there and also all kinds of other hunts. So uh, y'all check those out if you hadn't done so. Thanks and God bless.